السلام عليكم اللهم صل وسلم على نبينا محمد عليه السلام صلاة تدوم وتغدى إليه مما This is opera. <laughs> so many people, they don't like opera. But sometimes it's good. <laughs> Just to make the ear clean from the dust. So if somebody shout near your ear, the dust in your ear, it will be clean. So that's why they invade the opera. I am first saying, "A'uzu billahi min ash-shaytan rajim Bismillahir Rahman Rahim," and start with first day of Rabiul Awal. That I wish for all of us the happy. Spring of Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam that the burn uh, the birth of the beauty the birth of the love the birth of the light the birth of everything that Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and with this occasion I just spoke to Maulana Sheikh. And he is saying every day you must make at least 500 Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad minimum and after that you can go up to million if you can. So that means no limit for praising Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. All the time the powerful Shaykh he give you the minimum. Say, this is your minimum. When you get the awrad or the tasabih of Makshubandi order, it is all minimum. So this is very important information, announcement. <laughs> because so many people asking, how much we do, say, for example, 100 la ilaha illallah. But uh, what is the maximum? There is no maximum whatever you can go. And this is according to Maulana Sheikh. He say, if you are master powerful, there is no limit in zikr. But if your master is limited, like me, so it must be some limitation. I am master. <laughs> no, I am not. <laughs> I am only occupying some place it's empty <laughs> for the moment. So with this occasion, I'm trying to give certain recipe 
of how to behave in the front of king or in front of sultan or in front of prophet or in front of Allah Almighty. I remember once the king of Malaysia, he wanted to give to Maulana Sheikh a medal, the highest medal in, in Malaysia, in, in their country. But Maulana Sheikh, he didn't able to go and get it. So I was the one honored to be taken on behalf of Maulana Sheikh. So why I'm talking like this? It is to show how the learning or how the behavior to be taught. So when I went there, say, please, we want you for a few minutes to teach you how to go in front of the throne and you go in front of the Sultan and how you take and how you move and how you walk. So I've been taught, I've been teach. They teach me how to make it. That's mean even in any occasion or in any things, you have to learn how to behave. It is very important. So many people, they think, oh, this is a human like us. We can go. No, you cannot go. No, you cannot go. You need to be taught. You need to be teach. You need to be know. So this is the rule. This is how to walk. This is how you go. This is how you come. And I was perfect doing this. <laughs> but Alhamdulillah, with this one now, I'm the humble one. Not really humble, but little bit to say if we wanted to be behave good in Maulana Sheikh present so we have to know the key point and with this key point we can be in front of Maulana Sheikh but after that there is another level it's you going for the Grand Sheikhs and there's another level that you're going for the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and then there's another level you're going for Allah Almighty if you don't learn how to behave and you don't learn how to make it happen, so you are not learning anything. You will be, as Hussein say, awam <laughs> nas Ordinary people. Nobody blame ordinary man going in front of Sultan and behave as ordinary, ordinary man. But if you are responsible, and having something that Allah Almighty He give you, you have to behave as what you're being given and what you're being responsible. With this point, there's another things that I am all the time, Maulana Shaykh, teach us to say, Allahumma la takilna ila anfusina tarfa ta'aynin wa la aqalla min zalik. This is the second behavior, this is for me. Say, Maulana Sheikh is all the time making dua, saying, Oh my Lord, Oh my Allah, don't let me in the, in the hand of my ego, even to make my eye blink. blink. And this is, you know, it is like less than a second to be in the hand of my ego. You never know what this, when you make blink, what, what ego can do. <laughs> you never know. And this is coming from Sayyidina Dawood alayhi salam. This, it was his dua. This is Dawood alayhi salam, he was saying, Oh my Lord, don't let me in the hand of my ego, even in the blink time. And Allah Almighty, He tested him in that He was saying, maybe if I be in, in my ego hand for blink, I can manage to survive and to be okay. So He was challenging actually. He was Nabi Mursal, His powerful Nabi, Dawood alayhi salam, His great uh, prophet he's not he have uh, 
the zabur huh he was having the zabur nabi musa is pillar is not easy so when he make his blink the ego take over immediately <laughs> in the blink you are mine and he look and he see his commander wife his commander wife the very famous story about and his she becomes so beautiful in his eyes and in that day sayyidna daud he have 99 wife wives <laughs> not what 99 the 99 one he didn't see them anymore he see that lady and he created the war and he sent his commander and army to make war just to take his wife see ego no mercy and after a while two men coming to sayyidna daud saying we have a problem you are our king and you are prophet and we are believer and we want us to solve our problem this two men they been angel making as a, as a as a human they come and they say what is the problem so sharp you so full of power and anger king he say this is my brother say yes he have 99 sheep and i have only one he is chasing me to get my sheep to his 99 sheep he say this sheep is alone i want it to be with the rest and i don't want to give him my sheep do you think it's fair then he wake up say astaghfirullah alazim ya rabbi astaghfirullah alazim and then he fall for sajda for forgiveness say i was challenging that my i can control my ego i can control it and i can be okay with it but it was not that's why i am saying for myself first allahumma la takilna ila anfusina tarfata ayn wa la aqalla min zalik that mean ya rabbi don't let us to be proud and to be hesitated with our ego and to not think our ego is dangerous our ego is the most 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 dangerous things ever can be that's why when i sit here in the way i feel little bit proud or little bit yes this people listening to me but after that i feel maulana sheikh say no you have to sit here but not for your ego you have to sit here for allah almighty you have to sit here for the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam you have to sit here for me so that's why i'm sitting here and i'm apologizing from everybody that they think i am a sheikh or they think i am speaking for my ego or speaking for no i am only here as a small 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 servant for maulana sheikh that's why i'm looking for the sahaba there is 124000 sahaba of sayyidna muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam only the known one like sayyidna abu bakr sayyidna umar sayyidna usman sayyidna ali they are a pillar but the rest also pillar that doesn't mean that if you are 
belonging to Mawlana Sheikh, you will not be star because Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam saying, Ashabi kan nujum bi ayyuhum ihtadaytum ihtadaytum. That's mean, my sahaba, they are as a stars. Wherever you follow, you can get benefit out of it. You can find the right way. So that's why it is very important. This is for our Mawlana Sheikh followers and children and who he loved them that wherever you go, you have the light of Mawlana Sheikh. Wherever you attend, you have the light of Mawlana Sheikh. Even the smallest, even the biggest, doesn't matter. So be happy about the light that you got in your heart. So you can able to lighten the other people also. So this is one of the biggest miracle of Mawlana Sheikh, and this is one of the biggest miracle of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that he keep the Islamic world, even we are not in the right shape, but still we say La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. That's it is more than enough for any ignorant person to know that Sayyidina Muhammad is still alive. This I'm saying for our Muslim people, Wahhabi people, Salafi people, and whoever wanted to understand Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and to know his glorious and how he is, it is that Everyone can say, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. That means Sayyidina Muhammad Rasulullah is alive and still continuously going forever. This is, can say easily, we go forever. There is some slogan, it was once upon a time in Syria saying, this is forever, what is this? Now you can see, there is no forever. 40 years, 50 years, 100 years, finish. There is no things called forever, except La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah because it's coming from eternity to uh, from pre-eternity pre to eternity. This is La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. When Allah Almighty He give the life to Sayyidina Adam and He open His eyes, He say, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. Ya Rabbi, what is this? Say, this is you from your descendants. Muhammadun Rasulullah. So it was written there. And according to Sayyidina Muhyiddin ibn al-Arabi, this is also very high things level that I don't know we can understand or not. He was saying, O oh Adam, O oh our father, which number you are? Do you know? It is ocean. This means the creation of Allah Almighty never stop. This is from Zatul Buhd. <laughs> this is the creation of Allah Almighty never stop. Don't measure Allah Almighty with your minor mind. Never. And with this tajalli of Rabi'ul Awal, we are asking from Allah Almighty that to make Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to look at us Amen. in His mercy, Amen. not of our being, because our being is so terrible. Ya Rasulullah, you know that we are a very terrible being. So don't look us in you are in our being. You look us in your mercy, Amen. and may Allah Almighty make this month full of goodness Amen. and full of happiness Amen. and full of opening. And inshallah, it will be. Our feast by Zuhur Sayyidina al-Mahdi alayhi salam that he will change the shape of the world from the bad and corruption and all this things to the goodness and to Allah Almighty way. وَمِنَ اللَّهِ التَّوْفِيقِ بِحُرْمَةِ الْحَبِيبِ بِحُرْمَةِ الْفَاتِحَةِ سبحان الله سلطان الله نبي محمد عليه السلام سبحان الله سلطان الله نبي محمد 
وصل يا ربي وسلم على جميع الأنبياء والمرسلين ولكل أجمعين والحمد لله رب العالمين الفاتحة